Hey ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Red Adolescence. Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well. Today I have the pleasure of being joined by the wonderful Manos Gerakinis. I'm actually here in Athens, Greece. We're going to be talking about his brand new fragrance in today's Cephalobon contributor video. I'm very excited to tell you all about it, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before we start the video, I do want to mention that there is a special giveaway happening at cephalobon.com for two discovery sets of every single fragrance from the brand. All you have to do is shoot on over to cephalobon.com. It's going to be the first link in the description box. Read through the article, and after you become a registered reader, just leave a comment on the article, and also make sure to follow Manos Yerakinis on Instagram for your chance to win. Good luck, everyone. So here we have the brand new fragrance. It's called Methixis. Is that correct? Yes, Methixis. And I, you know, obviously I have corresponded with Manos on a number of occasions, but this is actually my first time meeting you in person. So thank you so much for taking the time to show me around and welcoming me here in Greece. It really means a lot. Thank you for visiting. Thank you for coming, passing by our showroom and uh, spending some time with us and uh, getting to know all the fragrances and obviously Methixis, the new release. Thank you so much. No, I really appreciate it. And I've had the privilege of smelling it about 30 minutes ago and it is amazing and mm -hmm. I know you know Immortal was an amazing fragrance and it's one of my favorite gourmands and I've done a video on it I'm gonna leave a card to that up here and the link down below so here we have kind of another gourmand and this one features honey so could you tell us a little bit about the notes that are in the fragrance after Immortal because it was uh, such a big hit people were asking me for another gourmand we worked with Chris Maurice and uh, we created Methixis the main ingredient I would say is fig it's a fig based perfume okay. and fig comes together with honey as you mentioned and cocoa so it's very sweet it's sort of milky fig it's got a lot of woody notes on the base just like all the other fragrances in the collection I think that's perfectly described and that's definitely the impression that I got when I first smelled it I said wow it's very rich and very full and creamy and I definitely got that fig accord in the opening it was a little lactonic but it was definitely gourmand leaning and I didn't realize that there was cacao in it until you mentioned it. So uh, I'm, I'm smelling it and I was getting the richness of the honey. Then all of a sudden I was like, oh yeah, there is a little bit of cacao. So it kind of has like this chocolatey mid-tone in there. But I feel like that, that sweetness and that creaminess is prolonged on account of that sandalwood and some of those creamy woodsy notes that are found in the base. <sighs> <laughs> this is amazing. It is, it's a gourmand, but it's very sweet, it's very sensual. I think it's, it's quite easy to wear fragrance, isn't it? It's very easy to wear. And, you know, it's funny because when I think of gourmands, I think of like a wintertime perfume. Mm. But here is one that I can wear in the summer. And I can wear it all year round, as a matter of fact. And I know you mentioned it was kind of evocative of like a Greek vacation. Exactly. And it definitely puts me in that mindset. And I had that sense of the sun uh, kissing your skin, glowing on you. And I remember August when you're under a fig tree and you eat the fig and it's very sweet. And that sort of memory I wanted to put in the fragrance. And I think we did a good job. I mean, I mean people are gonna, gonna tell us and you, obviously, but uh, <laughs> I'm very happy with the result at least. And it's beautifully organic, as Manos was mentioning, the fig that's in there. So my family does have a house in a part of Athens called Glifada, and there's a tiny little place within Glifada called Terpsithea, and I actually have a fig tree in my backyard. Oh wow. So growing up in Greece, I would eat figs all the time because they just kind of grew all the time. And so smelling this, that beautifully rich lactonic quality of the fig is captured so perfectly and of course as soon as you mentioned Chris Maurice I'm like you have one of the best perfumers there so everything about this is an absolute love for me thank I you. really do love this fragrance thank you I know this one is going to do really really well uh, Manos was also mentioning to me that it is going to be available at Perfumology and Oswald and uh, Indigo Perfumer in Ohio Indigo Perfumery, if you have the chance to visit Anne and say hello, she's absolutely wonderful. However, I'm also going to include the e-commerce links down below. So please, if you can, I know a lot of these places do offer uh, samples. And so if you have the opportunity to purchase a sample, if you want to buy a bottle, if the description of the fragrance sounds enticing enough to you, I know there's also vanilla. 
I, I, you know, I'm smelling a little bit of vanilla and it's just a beautifully versatile gourmand. And congratulations on the new release. Thank you, Stephen. Thank of you. Of course. Yes, Meth Excess. Please try it if you can. It's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Thank you for joining me today and thank you to everybody you. at home for watching. It really means a lot. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.